Okay, hi, welcome to Math 9. Um, this should be a relatively quick lesson. This is the last lesson we're going to do on 2D shapes. After this, we're going to go into surface area, which applies to three-dimensional shapes, and into volume. Um, so in section 7.2, they deal with three different shapes. They deal with a parallelogram, which is sort of like a rectangle off to the side. Area for a parallelogram is base multiplied by height. The important thing to note is that when they talk about height, they're not talking about the slanted line. They're talking about height straight up and down. If I draw a line straight from the top to the bottom, not the slanted side. Area of a triangle, you can actually write this a couple of different ways. You can call it one half times the base times the height, or if you prefer, it is base times height divided by two. They mean the same thing. How you want it to stick in your head is up to you. Um, it doesn't really matter for whatever reason. This is the one that's stuck in my head, but um, some people that's what's stuck in theirs, but it's the same thing. Um, again, base is just the bottom, but height means from the top straight down. That is your height. Trapezoid. A trapezoid is a shape where the top and the bottom are different lengths. Um, it doesn't matter whether the top is shorter or the top is longer. They're just different lengths, and then they're joined by the sides. Um, the formula for area for that is, um, again, you can think of this a couple of different ways. Um, the way that it is stuck in my head is area is one half A plus B times height. Again, it could be A plus B times height, and then divided by two, it's the same thing. So what this one means, A and B are um, the two lengths, A and B. So top is A, bottom is B. Wicket, leave Gabby alone. Gabby, why don't you come here? Gabby, come. Um, and height, again, always. Height is always talking about straight up and down. All right? So, um, a trapezoid, order of operations is going to be important here. You have to add your top and your bottom, multiply it by your height, and then either multiply it by half or divide by two, whichever you decide to do. So, three quick examples. Um, just one of each shape. And that's it. There's really nothing else to this. So um, in the first one, um, they tell us that the base is 10 centimeters and the height is 5 centimeters. So the area is just 10 times 5 which is 50 centimeters squared. Couldn't be easier. Base times height. Um, triangle, this one they throw decimals in. It really shouldn't matter. They tell us that the base of this triangle is 10.3. The height of this triangle is 7.1 centimeters. So depending on which you do, doesn't matter. But if I do base, multiplied by height and then I divide it by two again pay attention it shouldn't matter for order of operations on this one but I tend to do 10.3 times 7.1 figure out what that is and then divide by two and turns out it is 36.6 centimeters squared when we round it off to the nearest tenth which is what they said um, and the next one, the trapezoid, they tell us this is 10 centimeters, this is 19 centimeters, and the height is 7 centimeters. So again, I don't care which one you do, I find people tend to do this one. So 10 plus 19 
times my height of seven divided by two. Again, order of operations, very important. Do your bracket first. 10 plus 19 is 29 times seven and then divide by two. So 29 times seven divided by two ends up being 101.5 centimeters squared. That's pretty much it guys. This one is not too difficult. So I will list some questions for you to try with this. So just three new um, formulas for you to have. Again, I really recommend a formula sheet. It's just easier when it comes time to write a test or even if you're doing an assignment when you're allowed to have the formula sheet then you can just have that sheet beside you to work with it's easier than flipping through notes all right so we'll talk to you again bye